Whitney Houston was America's sweetheart, rising to pop stardom in the 1980s and inspiring a generation of younger singers. Her life came to an abrupt end here at the Beverly Hilton. She was pronounced dead in her room on the fourth floor. We have no obvious signs of anything at this time. We're still uh, too fresh and it's currently being investigated. Our detectives are upstairs right now. Houston was scheduled to appear at a pre-Grammy party at the hotel. It's hosted by Clive Davis, the music producer who discovered her. The daughter of gospel singer Sissy Houston, Whitney first started singing in church, later doing backup vocals for artists like Shaka Khan and Jermaine Jackson. So I'm all my love. Her 1985 self-titled debut album was a hit factory and sold millions. The song, Saving All My Love For You, got Houston her first Grammy for Best Female Pop Vocal. She went on to become one of the top-selling artists in pop music history, with more than 55 million records sold in the U.S. alone. Houston gave a rousing rendition of the Star Spangled Banner at the Super Bowl in 1991. Her talent even expanded to the big screen, in movies like The Bodyguard, which featured her hit remake, I Will Always Love You. But Houston's professional successes were tempered by personal turmoil like her tumultuous marriage to singer Bobby Brown. The pair divorced in 2007 and share a daughter, Bobby Christina. Houston also had an ongoing battle with drugs. She admitted to abusing cocaine and pills. Her voice showed the trouble, turning raspy and low. She's lost a quality to her voice. She hasn't lost her artistic instinct. Houston went to rehab and declared herself drug-free in 2010, but there were missed concert dates and public meltdowns. Houston's death came on the eve of the biggest night in music, the Grammy Awards. Begat Chaban, CBS News, Los Angeles.